Hi, this is Mike Bader. I'm the field tech rep for Tremco. We're in Houston, Texas today. We're looking at our 6100 application. And right now, the third party testing company is on site. They're doing high voltage, which is a technology that's replacing or is an alternative to using water, which would require a lot of weight for this deck. So they're doing high voltage to see if we have any breaches or anything wrong with our 6100 before they cover it up with concrete. The technician from the third party tester is using a voltage brush and he's running high voltage through it. He has a ground set up on some metal and then he's going across the surface and he's looking for a sound that will signal to him that there's a possible breach. Potentially on a new construction site, it might be a screw, it might be a nail. He'll paint a circle of what he thinks it is. And then our applicator will come over, identify it, usually open it up and see what's going on and then put another layer of our hot bag down. This system is one man with a, with a voltage beater on his side with a brush and he's just walking across the surface and he literally can do this in a day. The old way, we literally would have to fill this entire deck with water. Now, the first thing that has to happen is the engineer has to decide, can it handle the weight of the water? Because again, if we want three inches, if there's a slope, it might take eight, nine, ten inches to get me three inches everywhere. They dam up the uh, drains, fill it with water, and it has to stay for 48 hours. So nothing can happen for 48 hours. The other thing is, if you get a leak, in that 48 hours. It's not necessarily where you see it coming through the deck. It, who knows where it's coming from? With this high voltage and low voltage, we know immediately right where it is and how to identify it. When they do the low voltage, it, it's based on the ground will be the water. So the water itself is put on the, the whole surface as a mist. And then when he goes over it again with his two poles, it will signal whether there's a breach or not. Again, for the high voltage with being dry, being one man, is the preferred method. It's quicker, takes less time. The general contractor doesn't have to wait. It's the best way to go. We don't pick one or the other. We'll do water. We'll do high voltage or low voltage. The most important thing to us is the third party testing agency that's doing it. It's not Trimco, it's not the applicator. He's coming out there, he represents himself. He finds a breach, we fix it, and we move on before they pour the concrete. And then from warranty standpoint, we turned over a deck that we know is watertight. Obviously, we prefer the high voltage because it's just so much quicker. It identifies the problem much faster. We think it's the wave of the future. The water, again, if you have a leak, you just will never know where it's coming from. We don't recommend one or the other, but we highly suggest using the high voltage.